morning, strangers. I just slept my whole life away. Like how I did that, you know, to put that music in, because every time I put that music in, I'm saying good morning, and I say the same thing. But anyways, it's like 12 o'clock, and I'm so energized, though. I, I have lots of errands to do today, so, oh my god. Imagine if I had, like, a nip slip on YouTube. I'd, I'd cut it out. I'd edit it out. But, um, I have to do laundry. That's the first thing I must do because I have no clothes left. Um, and then in between laundry, I have to clean my place. And then after cleaning my place, uh, maybe when the clothes dries, I have to go to the gym. Because I haven't gone to the gym in a while, but we'll see how the day goes. Because if there's too much to do, then I have to skip out on the gym, which sucks. Um, and then after, I have to do groceries and then see Alex and then Jay is asking me to go see him too so it's like oh my god I don't know what's going on um I should stop narrating what I do on my day because sometimes I don't even end up doing it so we'll just play it by ear play it by feet anyways okay enough rambling let's go let's go worst angle ever but I want to show you guys what I've been using in the morning Sometimes I switch from Cold Face, which is the charcoal bar from Lush. And sometimes if I want like an exfoliation, I feel like my skin is moisturized thoroughly. I use Bouche de Noel. This is probably one of my favorite um, cleansers now. And it sucks that it's a limited edition. So I already bought a second one. Which is crazy. I'm still not even done this. So let's use it up. If you guys haven't used a cleanser before, I'm going to do like an in-vlog demo for you. So, all you have to do is take a small piece. I like to take like this much. And then later you add a couple droplets to your hands. You can either turn it into a face into your hands or what I like to do because they're quite solid. Is I just saturate the bunch with water and then I use that clump as like a little sponger you know what i mean it's less mess and i feel like you get most of the product this way and this one why i like it so much is because first of all it smells so good it smells like a cranberry um i've never tried it but you know how starbucks has the cranberry bliss bars like oh it probably smells like this um and it's, in my opinion, it smells much better than Let the Good Times Roll, which is another great scented one. If this goes away, that's another great one to use. But yeah, it has chopped up almonds in there, Satsuma oil, um, brandy, which is cool. I'm dropping Brandy, which is cool. It also has seaweed in there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that little black thing right there is seaweed. Uh, there's clay, dried cranberries, Cocoa butter, which is great for moisture. Um, yeah, yeah. I love this shit. And in the shower, I love using it for um, like the bumps on my arms. And I find that any sort of cleansers from Lush, as long as there's exfoliation, they're really great for like body um, bumps. I don't think this is acne necessarily. Like I don't have it that bad. But even if you have like acne on the ass or something, um, you know. Let's not lie. I'm sure some of you guys do. But so we're going to rinse this off. And I'm going to use another Lush product. Not sponsored, guys. Okay? But I do work there. Okay. The after feeling of this, just so I can let you guys know, it feels so smooth and like hydrating. It's not that frictiony, cleany feel that um, Angels on Bare Skin does give that. So if you guys don't like a deep clean, um, and that squeaky feel, then get this. It's so nice. And the fact that it has brandy in there, you know, it took off like dirt and oil. So the next thing that I use, um, at night, I'm going to admit, sometimes I use this Colgate, um, just because I like that deep, clean, new minty feel. And Lush has a mint one too, but I'm not really a fan of the mint one. So in the morning, I like to use Boom. I'm sure you guys have seen it in my favorites before. Um, Boom basically is a toothy tab and all you have to do is take one tablet, wet your toothbrush, 
And then what I like to do is I like to put this against my teeth and then just kind of brush it along. Um, some people like to bite it in the back of their tooth, but then that means you have to reach over your toothbrush all the way to the back and get it. So. Okay. It tastes like cola. A little bit salty at first, but I'm sorry if you guys are getting grossed out by this. So whatever. You guys see it every day when you brush your teeth anyway. And why I like that one is because it does lift up stains, which is really nice. Like I noticed that two of these teeth are kind of like stained. But ever since I started using this, I noticed that the forefront tooth are getting lighter. So it works. But this one has sea salt in there. Um, I just read the instructions. Instructions. Wow. The ingredients. <clears throat> There's also some pepper oil in there, which explains a little spice kick. And then the soap I use, this is the sticky banana, but it's only in the UK when they had the Lush Kitchen. But look at that. It's like splitting because one side is buttery, the other side isn't. So, but I do enjoy the soap and I've had this for a while. I've had this since I moved here, which is crazy. Um, May, so seven months and it's still here. And I have other soaps too to use up, so yeah that is my morning routine but i do have a cream that i use and i might as well show you guys i was gonna do a morning routine video separately but i feel like everybody's skin is different so i don't know if what i like is what you'll like and if you guys like my content enough to watch my vlogs one of the lucky contenders to see what i use on a daily basis so what I tend to use here is, I'm trying to find a spot for you to sit on. In the morning is a mixture of things. Um, I'm testing out the Origins eye cream that I actually ordered from Sephora not too long ago. Because I ran out of the other eye cream that I was testing out as well. So I'm using right now the Origins Eye Doctor Moisture Care for Skin Around the Eyes. And I really enjoyed their ginseng one, so that's why... Um, I wanted to try this one to see what it's like and it smells really good it kind of smells like cucumbers almost yeah it's very fresh kind of smells like the fresh one to be honest but what I like to do is use the ones on the lid first just because you know you want to get your money's worth and this small thing was like how much was it I think it was like 40 bucks which to me is like why it's so tiny but I get it it's just for around the eyes but I want to try it out for a week because I think I can still return it if I don't like it. But I used it last night for the first time. Um, and no complaints about it. I mean, it's an eye cream, pretty general. And then what I use for the face is the Clinique's Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. Um, this has been here for a year now. I think I got it last year around this time for like for my birthday. Um, so yeah, damn. I only use it sometimes, like uh, not all the time because in the summer I don't really like using moisturizer, which I shouldn't do that because you always need moisturizer. But I do about two pumps of that and put it around. And I think this is the one that's good for oily skin, if I'm correct. So there's that, and today I don't really want to wear any sort of like makeup because I kind of want to give my skin a break unless I'm doing uh, an impression later that I will do makeup. And then after, what I do is I like to spray Mario Badescu. And I got the rose one. Apparently he came out with a cucumber green tea one and I really but I just remembered because yesterday I looked through my stash of um, beauty products and I have a coconut mist one. So I shouldn't be hoarding on things. I know Mario Badescu is going to be in Urban Outfitters for a long time, I hope. Um, but until I run out of that one, I'll get another one of this. But it works really well. I love this. Let that sit on and because I don't have makeup right on for now, I'm also going to put on Grease Lightning Tea Tree and Aloe Vera Gel. This is a holy grail product of mine. Um, this is like my second bottle. I love it so much. Um, so I just put this on like the troubled skin. Ew. 
Okay, I don't know, man, but that looks nasty as fuck. What the fuck is that? I think that's dried up product. Looks like a bug just came out. But anyways, I'm glad you guys witnessed that with me. That was gross. Oh, I gotta put that here. When does this expire? Oh, March 11, 2018. Okay, I'm good. Not that it matters anyways. I usually still use it when it's expired, but I just wanted to know. But yeah, that is my skincare routine for the morning. So now I'm gonna get my laundry together. Yeah, get my laundry. I have a lot of laundry. And I'm thinking of cleaning my bed sheets too. Oh my god. Horrible. Just couldn't do it because, like I was saying, I wasn't off for, I counted the days and I wasn't off for the last 12 days. So, and I usually do my um, laundry at the end of the month. Like, I only need to do laundry once a month, which is great. I know it sounds crazy because that means I have so much clothes, but it works out for me because that means it's less. Just collected all my laundry and it's this load and that load. Oh my god, it is gonna take a while. We're gonna make this happen, I don't care. Okay, gotta check the time to see when I have to get the laundry. I, it took three machines, I'm like, oh my god, that's the most I've used. So I have to go back at like 1.45, which is not bad. Enough time for me to make my typical breakfast, yes. So, I'm actually, yeah. I was gonna go to Tim Hortons, but then like, I have an instant coffee mix in my bag, which is good. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make eggs, chicken bacon. I think I only have one egg left. I could be wrong. Or three. And then for lunch, I have leftovers from my work. It's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna eat tacos and stuff. Or maybe I'll save that for dinner. I don't know. Breakfast is served. That's my usual right there. And then I also have coffee in this cup. I actually might add some more creamer in there. So I like the milk powder. That was a bomb ass breakfast. Now I gotta go get my clothes to dry it. The worst, I remember, like, I don't know if you guys are longtime viewers of mine, but. When I first moved here, I remember I was so freaking slow. I just kept coming up and down the stairs because um, I kept forgetting my keys to open up the laundry room. I kept forgetting my laundry card and then I forgot my dryer sheets. It was, it was a mess. That was when I just started moving here and I just didn't know my way around. Starting to read this book, I, apparently there's uh, The Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, Crazy Rich Asians, which I heard is really good, but I got like, I don't know if this is the sequel or the prequel, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try to read it. I read the first couple pages of the, and I wasn't really into it, but I hear great things about that series. So I'm going to try my best to get through it since I already finished my other book, which I donated in one of those like open library things. And I wonder if anybody took it yet. Now that the laundry is drying up. Uh, 50 minutes to clean up my room like just to prep it so at least when the laundry is done I can actually clean up the whole apartment so that's gonna be fun and by the time I finish that hopefully um, I'll talk to Alex and see what's up so my most favorite part of my room is this mini vanity usually vanity would have makeup and stuff but only makeup stuff is over there I know crazy Look at how cute these are. I think I showed it in the vlog before. If I did, I'm sorry, but I'm showing it again. Uh, if you guys are wondering, I got all of these like little knickknack stuff from Papyrus last year when I used to work there. These jewelry boxes are made out of glass and they were mad cheap. Like that one was regular 70, but I got it for $20. And that one was regular $20, but I got it for literally less than $10, which is insane. Um, and then I got that mirror. Yeah, that infamous mirror from Jisk. I got it on sale as well for 20 bucks. It's crazy, I know. And then this sage thing, um, diffuser. Right now I'm diffusing geranium oil. It smells so good. And I got this from a Christmas raffle um, last year at Lush. And yeah, it's so cute. I don't leave these lights on, obviously, because 
you know, they take up batteries, but I leave it on just like to give off that nice cozy feel. Um, but honestly, this thing from Ikea and my laundry is done, so I should go get that, but I'm kind of lazy to go right now, but I should go. And I bet you some of the clothes is not dry. I bet. I bet some. Sheets are finally in. Oh my god, that took longer than expected. It's like, it took me an hour just to fold clothes and get this prepped up. But it was well worth it. Now I have clean sheets, which is probably one of the best feelings you could ever get. If you guys are wondering, got these sheets from JISC for the new strangers that are watching my vlogs. And I got that cat pillow from Simons or Simmons, I don't know, Simons. So now I'm gonna start tidying up the floor so at least my room is cleaner and then probably clean up the washroom, kitchen, and living room. Alex still hasn't called me. We were supposed to meet like around three, but it's like four right now, so. I'm okay with that because I have to do groceries as well and I was hoping to go to the gym but I don't know if I can still make it so let's see. Clean. So I just have to uh, vacuum it which is fine. So now off to the damn washroom. Oh my god. It doesn't look messy probably to you guys but it's just like I love cleaning the counter, the mirror, toilet especially. Nasty ass shit. And then uh, the tub. I had a bath yesterday, but I'm gonna clean like the tiles and stuff. And then on to the living room. Man, I remember when I was younger, I hated doing this for my own place, like with my parents. But now when it comes to my own room, and my own apartment, I have to keep it clean. Sorry to put you on blast, Charlotte, but she never cleans. And she knows it. Like the only one time she cleaned was in the kitchen. And that was it. Like, which I'm grateful for, obviously, but man. Now I see why my mom would get so mad at me when I don't do any house chores. Because there are days where I'm like, fuck, why doesn't my roomie clean up? She's probably gonna be like, why would you put me on blast? But hey, I'm just being real. Right. <laughs> I still love her though. She's a really nice person. But in terms of cleaning, she doesn't like it. I mean, who likes cleaning? Because I don't. I hate it, but somebody's gotta do it. Restroom is done. Now on to the damn kitchen. Kitchen and uh, living room. I feel like I'm doing a house tour. This is when you know you've grown up, is when you do your spare time or on cleaning. And it sucks because I want to put a picture up there, but I don't, I can't seem to find like a nice cheap picture to put up there where I just like tape it on, but I think it would make this living room much more homey, but whatever. I love this thing right here. This thing is called Valletta, and basically all you need is just two teaspoons of, I guess, detergent? This one is called for detergent. And then you basically just sweep it around like a Swiffer. It's basically like a Swiffer without the sheets, you know? You don't have to freaking change the sheets all the time. Open this up. And this whole bottle lasted me for seven months, which is quite impressive. I was like, oh my god. Life right here. So I like to, em I like to fill it with like lukewarm water. Just fill the cap because I don't want to use a teaspoon to pour this stuff in there. And then let me show you guys where what the sheets look like. I'm sure I've shown it in a vlog already. This reusable, you just hand wash it. Um, and it doesn't stink, right? Because the floor is already clean. So it doesn't have that nasty mop smell. Which is what I hate. And then you just stick it on. So easy. And then this little nozzle here. You go. Yeah. And clean it up. So I'm gonna mop the whole floor and then last is last but not least is basically cleaning the dishes and vacuuming the floors. Hope he's okay. That's my main concern first. 
didn't really vlog my grocery adventure because I was literally just grabbing a bunch of stuff and I was on the phone with Lena. But apparently, if you collect PC points, you have to purchase it on specific items. I find that so BS because so many people spend so much money, including myself, on groceries only to find out that it's zero points. Like, then why scan my card then? Sorry, I, don't, I sound like I'm, you know, complaining a lot, but it's just, it's really annoying. Anyways, Alex got stuck at work for a while, so that's why I'm not really with him right now. I'm debating if I should go help him just because it's getting pretty late and uh, tomorrow I have work. I have an eight-hour shift, so we'll see, but... I just basically want to chill at home and do nothing, especially because I cleaned up the whole place. I sound aggravated because I am a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to be, like, as energetic as before. So I didn't get to finish the movie yesterday. I'm going to do that while eating some California spicy rolls. Yes. And thank God I've been keeping these, which is great. So I'm going to eat this for dinner, and if I'm hungry later, I have, like, little snacks now. So, I don't think I'm going to go to Alex's today, um, just because it's getting pretty late, and unfortunately in Toronto, there's been a lot of people who have been missing, especially it's like two streets over from where I am, so um, just for my safety and Alex's safety, I would rather not go over to his place this late, but I'm vlogging because I'm eating a drumstick caramel. I'm so excited, this is like the last box I was there and I haven't eaten these in a while I don't think I've been eaten these since I lived here so it's a, quite a good treat so good and even though it's cold out I just want to watch vlogs and thinking kind of bored I might actually do a video on what I got for my birthday just so at least now I can just focus on Christmas stuff I'm actually gonna clean my brushes now these are the ones that I use a lot I'm actually thinking of throwing this one out, unfortunately, because the hair is just kind of like flying everywhere. And sometimes I find that it is quite an old brush, so sometimes the hairs even fall in my eyes. So, shoot, I feel bad, but there it goes. But I'm going to clean all this, and I'm also going to try using up all of my blender, the blender soap, which there's only this much left. Then I'm also going to try the shampoo from Morphe. This is the Honey Lavender. So this thing came with the beauty blender and I think I use it as a way to kind of help clean the brushes. Just so I don't have to put too much pressure. But it seems to work. Ooh, that looks so weird. You guys see that? Now I'm gonna try this one. Kind of afraid to get this dirty because it's so pretty like that. And then this is the honey lavender one. Oh, hey, pretty cool. Doesn't really lather up or anything. You can still pick up the product. I'm gonna swish it around here. About this is what I use for my contour. Check it out. This was quite interesting to use. It's kind of like a hard soap in a jar, which I like it and it stays clean pretty well. Um, I'm debating whether or not to like try to pat it dry with a napkin um, or just leave it to air dry. But I'm scared that I might lose its scent or something. But this one, very easy to use as well. But as you can see, it has like a hole in the middle. Because before, the bar would be like this. So I would just kind of like swish it around. But yeah, overall, I like this one a lot. But the smell of it, I mean, it just smells like a regular soap. Whereas this one actually smells pretty good. And it's super creamy as well. But I can't tell which one I like better. So until the two brushes dry up, I'm going to come back to you guys and let you guys know what I thought about it. Hilarious how this vlog just sounds like a review but what else am I doing in my day? To end off my night I'm gonna eat a little bit of this cheddar habanero cheese. I'm so excited. And then my favorite freaking pepperoni. Can you guys even see it? I love this.
fish and it's the spicy one. And then I'm also gonna watch Santa Claus and and hopefully it doesn't uh fuck up. Oh my god. Ooh, finally fixed it. Let's do this. I'm trying to watch like a holiday movie every other night or so just to get myself in the festive season. But have a good night, guys, and hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogmas, even though it was just me cleaning.